Good morning, United Kingdom, and good morning to the uh, live drive time session with uh, the Alternative Business and Property Solutions community with Lucky Singh, the Business and Property Fixer. Good morning to everybody, and uh, we have obviously for this uh, uh, today the topic is uh the forecast that's right the forecast for the property sector in 21 where are we going is it good is it bad is it uh, bleak is it positive uh, is there going to be some major changes we're trying to have a look at how people should behave in property in the year 2000 and today we have i think as one of our guests a uh, gentleman who's come on before who's excellent full of knowledge uh full of inspiration a gentleman who uh, has so much knowledge that this hour is not enough for him but we tried to squeeze in all that knowledge in that one hour a gentleman by the name of mark johnson we had him on last time a gentleman who spent time in retail and service uh and the person who finally ended up leaving his job uh because because of lockdown really and then re-engineering or trying to re-engineer himself to become self-employed and we wish him every well in that hopefully we should have him on and we should call him invite him front stage lucky Singh, i think is he around is he not here right mark's here lucky Singh is not here right and what's the saying of the week So this sort of uh, reinforces what Mark has started to do. And it is that don't dream about what you want to achieve. Uh, you need to practically start to get your dreams. You can't just dream about being, you know, X, Y, Z or starting a company. You need to actually get your feet under the desk and make that dream a reality so before we go further on call and I'd like to invite in mark johnson mark hello good morning mark how are you doing yeah i'm all right thank you are you good 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 and how's the weather there in uh, i think you're out in uh was it uh just it's just dull it's dull it's not raining it's not doing anything it's just just damp damp okay damp. damp is good damp means you will get uh you'll have your crops for this year which means you'll have cornflakes on the table for next year that's the way to look at it yeah okay so today's topic obviously is that topic that's come from mark has it Oh, it's a topic that we're creating. That's just having a look at the the uh, the forecast for the property sector in 21. But because uh, we may, I think Lucky Singh's not coming on today, or he's going to come in slightly late. Um, the second topic being, uh, don't dream uh, about your um, success. That's right. Don't dream about your success. Start working for it. That's the way to it. It's a bit like Mark Johnson. Gentleman has always been at the age of 15. Got the house, the key to the house. Is that right, Mark? Is that what yeah, you told it's us? Yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances, but yeah. 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 But a gentleman who's learned to work hard from the age of 15 and uh, or possibly earlier than that. So, Mark. We change the topic of that, I realize. Yeah. Okay. So tell us what do you, uh, okay, before we go into the topic, what, do you want to adjust that topic? So uh, to do a topic that you have been slightly more comfortable in, or a topic that's on your tip of your tongue, something that you find is a bit more interesting or relevant. Well, you know, I mean, 
what, what's interesting or relevant is is what brings Ben and Port to the table, I suppose, isn't it? You know, to me, you know, if we could all go out and play eight hours of golf every day, not that I play golf, but you could pick any sport you want. But that doesn't bring bread and butter to the table, does it? It doesn't keep the wool from the door. So the topics that are relevant is, I suppose, a what you're good at, what you like doing is the more important thing, isn't it? If you do, if you find something you like doing, that that sort of energises you to get up in the morning and get on. You know, we've all got to work. We've all, and there's a lot of people out there that don't. You know, don't want to stereotype anybody, but um, I've never been one for for handouts and stuff like that, and. Um, but it is it is difficult. You can you can soon fall into the eight hour job and work for somebody else. And we all we, we, majority of us do that at some point during our life. There's not many people that start a start a business and, and from the word go become self employed and, and and stuff like that. But you know, okay, it, that makes something. sense. I think we uh, we should we should tie that in with today's. That's right. Okay. So let, let's take that in today's topic. Uh, don't try to dream about your success. You need to get up like Mark Johnson and work towards it. And I think Mark has brought an important topic in, and that is do something you actually like or care about. Don't just do things because they seem to have money or profitability in them. Do things because you like doing them as well. That will keep your energy and your motivation higher and while we talk about motivation, talk about Mr. Motivator. Lucky Singh is working, waiting backstage. Let's get him in. Good morning, Lucky Singh. How are you doing? Good morning. How are we doing over there? <coughs> How are you doing? How's that? Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? Yeah. Good morning, Mark. What's the weather like there? Good morning, Mark. You're all right. In the square mile, Lucky Singh. Been raining overnight. It uh, wasn't up to bad anyway. Bright and beautiful as always. It looks, looks like it's sunny there. Excellent day, excellent day. What do you say, Lucky? I said it seems very nice. It's nice and bright. So it looks like it's sunny. Uh, not funny. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Bright for a change, but without the sun. That's good. Excellent. Right. We've got the topic for this week. First uh, topic of today is um, giving a forecast, I think, on 21 for the property sector. And the second saying of the week is don't dream about your success. Work towards it or work for it. Mark brought out an interesting point for anybody who's redesigning or re-engineering their working environment. Try to select something that you like doing or you like or enjoy so that whatever you do, it do, it keeps you motivated. Uh, otherwise, you know, the chances of failure are higher. So, Lucky, what do you have to say to that? Yeah, I think if you've got a passion, <laughs> say, uh, enjoy gardening, you've got green fingers, and uh, <clears throat> you're, uh, you're probably going to get the best, uh, the largest pumpkin growing it in your garden. Okay, yeah. So it all comes down to uh, what size of pumpkin you want, really, isn't it? Yes. Mark, um, it was Valentine yesterday. What did you do, sir? Uh, I went to a friend's house, watched football. Is that allowed? Sorry, sorry, no. That's very romantic, uh, what, yes. I so, the wasps and flowers. Uh, what was who was playing? Yeah, it's allowed. Well, there's a few yes, games love, on, but I'm an Arsenal fan for me, for me since, so. Very nice. So you bought your wife some flowers and then you left her at home alone to go and watch football. You're going to have to excuse me a minute. I've got the angling water in the Yes. Door. 
A gunner. Are you a gunner, are you? He said he's got to go because he's got something. You're a gunner, are you? You got agony water at the door, right? Okay, Lucky Singh. So tell me, what did you do yesterday for Valentine's? I was working most of the day and just uh, relaxing. And who is relaxing? Is he someone you are romantic with? Yeah, that's myself. Romantic with myself. Are you being romantic with yourself? That's very, yeah, uh, very... Uh, A what? Bought myself some flowers. You bought yourself some flowers, yes? Yep, yeah, I do appreciate myself. You appreciate yourself. Okay, that's good news. That's not bad, that's good news. And uh, how, say, is your is your mother? I think she was uh, going through a tough time last uh, week. I know it's been a bit uh, tough on you as a as a person, as a celebrity, having to keep up appearances, keep smiling, keep positive. So how has it been? And uh, how is your mom now? Is she somewhat better? Um, um, thoroughly, she's. <laughs> <clears throat> same in the same sort of condition. Same condition. So, how long do they say it'll take for her to uh, improve or to come down to some normality? And then they haven't given us an indicator. Uh, all in the air at the moment. Okay. So again, um, what's it say? C'est la vie, and it's about life. And uh, we have to accept certain things, but we obviously all, uh, from everybody here in the studio, you know, uh, our prayers are with her and for her speedy recovery. And I know it will be a recovery. It's uh, not uh, new or not the first time. But I think uh, the fact that you've got people out there who have knowledge of this, you must take uh, their advice or understand how to manage the condition that she's in. Um, okay, so tell me, uh, apart from uh, buying yourself flowers, what else did you do yesterday? I didn't buy myself flowers, I bought my wife flowers. Oh, well, you bought yourself flowers and your wife bought you flowers as well? Some, yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> right, love is like uh, flag, like we all right, windy air, that's right, as I say. Love is like wind. Uh, yes, but the one that you pass yourself, you can't really feel. It's the one that others smell that affect you. Is that is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Right, okay, John, Mark, you're back. Right, okay. So, so I think so. I'd like to know what you did for Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day, I had a barbecue. That's right. Uh, I've got a I started loving the uh, loving the meat. That's the type of thing I did. Uh, had a lovely barbecue with some uh, close friends, uh, but uh, nothing romantic, unfortunately. That is the price you pay for being famous. How Sounds like you're very good romantic. Time. Pardon? Sounds like you had a bit of gaiety in your life. Very important. Yeah. Gayness is important. To be gay uh, allows you to let go of all the frustrations you have. And being gay is part of uh, your repair or your repair mechanism. Being gay with people uh, means you know how to enjoy yourself and let your, uh, your um, philosophical hair down, as I would say. Okay, Gary, or Mark, sorry, or your younger brother, Gary, if he's around, Mark, tell us, when you say get into something that you enjoy, because that's going to give you that motivation to get up and go and become successful, 
what is it that you did in this last stretch after lockdown what have you been doing to make sure you're doing something that you enjoy apart from football i've changed my career haven't i so do you know what i mean I, I've, I've left a, a job after 33 years and i've been i've liked property for such a long time <clears throat> um and although i'm a landlord myself i've, I've got three properties um i i've decided to do something within the property group and market so I've uh, become a, a, a DEA, Domestic Energy Assessor. I do uh, Legionella reports and um, EPCs now. And, um, are, are you naturally an inspector type? Are you? Do you like going around with a board and and you know <laughs> sticking your nose into everything? No, I've not, I've not always. Like that Is that what you like doing? No, I've not not always done that kind of work. Predominantly, I've done more of that kind of work in the last. 15 years from an audit point of view, an audit role for Mercedes Benz. So um, I've done, I've been, yeah, predominantly before that, I was, I was shop floor, workshop, um, mechanic, technician, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I was a mechanic for about 20 years um, in garage, at garage, shop floor level. Mark, you only look 20, mate. Sorry? I said, you only look 20, mate. <laughs> All that injured oil, mate, he rubs it into his face. Yeah, I, I wish I wish I was only 20, mate. Um, I'm 50 this year. I'm hoping the pubs will be open by the time my birthday comes round. Yes. And you will go there to get sloshed and remember your 50 years. Long yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How are we then, sir? Um, so I assume you were working in Mercedes. Probably learned lots of tips about how uh being meticulous and organized and being uh regulated uh makes your work a bit more uh complete did you take any of that knowledge across into your uh that, uh, you have yeah of course yeah it's um just like you say the, 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 the stringent rules we had to work to at mercedes-benz and the the uh clarity of the paperwork <laughs> Um, has come through to how I, I treat my job now. Um, well, is it a job or is it your own company? Is it your own employee? Are you self-employed? I'm self-employed now, yeah. So it's not, it's not really a job then, is it? It's your business now, isn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, it is my business, yeah. And there's lots of, there's lots of strings to my business because I, I now subcontracted to two or three different companies. So... I've got my DEA company, which I work for a company called Elmhurst. They uh, they, they accredit me and back me. <coughs> so I deliver EPCs through Elmhurst and Legionella reports through Elmhurst. I now work for um, NALC property auctions. So I bring properties to auction um, with them once a month. Uh, I've got four lots, five lots going in for our March auction, um, which they pay me for bringing them to auction and they get paid when they sell as well. Um, so that's that's one that's another another job. I started working for a company called E House, which you might have heard of, a big big London based company. Do photography for properties and that floor plans. That's right. So they're, bre they're breaching out into my area, and so I now work an hour from my my home address, and I, I do all the east coast, um, up down to Peterborough, over to Derby, Sheffield. So I cover quite a big area. Um, but it's, it's not that much work at the moment with them. Um, I've got a job this Friday and a job on the 1st of March. So, um, but, you know, if, it'll get better. Um, and I started working for a company called Evolve as well, which is a very similar company to E-House. Um, but well, they're just waiting to get some paperwork set up. And I've been with them since, since September. But it's been really hard to get working for them, do you know what I mean? But now everything's in place. It's just waiting for them to feed the work through. So... So that's um, that's like five or six different streams of income coming in. Do you know what I mean? And I also do tenant finding and try to work with landlords and I take properties on as management as well. So um, I've got two properties coming to manage hopefully in the next month. Um, so yeah, lots of little, lots of different. There's lots of different oh, streams. streams to the boat okay. rather than, yeah. rather so than one of, office job. That's what that makes it. So it's interesting. Okay, so talking about, you know, it will get better. That's the statement you've made. Let's ask the expert, the fixer, the mixer, 
the rixa, the trixa, the splixa, the splicer, the dicer, the ricer, the icer. What do you say, let me think? Is it going to get better? 21, what's your prediction? I think it all comes down to the state of mind. So, <clears throat> Mark, I think he's got the right attitude. I think you just got to uh, be looking for opportunities, and the opportunities will come. I think having an attitude of uh, maybe fatalism is probably the biggest issue for a lot of people because uh, all of a sudden they <clears throat> the world's gone dark. Maybe they lost their jobs. They can't see their loved ones. Uh, they've uh, possibly lost their business in uh, retail or hospitality. Can you imagine having to go through all those three things simultaneously? <clears throat> uh, most humans can only handle, this is a proven fact, can only handle one major change in their life at any given time. And uh, their performance literally drops to below 20-30% if you have two stressful things to deal with. So this is really proven more from a point of view of uh, like moving house or, uh, you know, finding a new job or going through maybe a life change or some sort of divorce or a separation. So just one of those simple things, but not simple, but let's say terrible things for a lot of people happen when they can only handle one of them at a time. Imagine having to handle all those three um, simultaneously and also being locked up in the house. So I think, uh, I would say more than, I think there's a proven stats or some sort of stat that came out from America about uh, three months ago, that 70% of Americans are suffering from mental illness. That's probably because they go to McDonald's, but that's a different matter. Um, why McDonald's, so, like, why McDonald's? Because, because it's a very fast food culture out there. So they're very much focused on uh, uh, here and now, having a quick uh, immediate gratification. So the likelihood of obesity and uh, health issues, uh, although you can't generalize in America, are a lot higher because they've got the very fast food culture. So I think a lot of that's also rubbed off over here. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, let's just say in general, there is a fatalistic uh, situation now where people, are, because of their mental well-being, they're not going to be able to see, think outside the box. So I think having an attitude of growth or potential and looking for opportunities like Mark's doing is a very good example of uh, being proactive. So uh, I would say uh, bravo, as we're saying, sorry, uh, Mark. Mark. Uh, well done. Thank you. Well, I'm trying okay. to get more... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking into the RAC as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm still waiting for uh, John to forward me some information. Okay. Okay. So is that is that regarding the ICO? Is that is it the information commissioners? No. Uh, you you know, got no, that no. sorted out of you? Because obviously I've got the platform there, for the RAC, but I can't. I don't, I don't know how to navigate it. I don't know really what, mm -hmm. what all the what it does. So I was trying to get John. He was going to put some kind of video together, or uh, uh, you know. How do, what do I bring to the table? It's all right. What do I bring to the table? How do I make it work for me? Well, the, I tell you what to do is there's a whole set of videos. I've seen okay? I've, I've seen a lot of the videos. I've seen a lot yeah. of the videos. That's right. Who tells you? And the, the ones which are in particular are the ones that tell you how to actually get into the uh, associateship in terms of. You know, if you haven't got a network, how you build your network. If you haven't got a, if you're not very clever with social media, how to use social media and build up your network. So it actually gives you uh, baby steps as to how to start, like making a list of all the people you know who are in property. Or if they're not in property, they may be suffering from some uh, trauma of uh, financial distress or property distress, X, Y, Z. They may be losing their house because they're in the rears of them or anything like that. It tells you, actually, babies, unless they haven't got the right videos uh, pointing to that, I can try and get them to send the links about how to use the RAC to get your marketing in, to get your business in. Have you watched those, have you, Mark, or not? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. yeah. I've, 
I followed on. I've, there's quite a few videos on there. A lot of them are the same, but I, um, yes, I've, I've watched the videos, but yeah. I can't think I've seen any that like, you're you're di dictating no, there. No, there, is, there um, is that because I, a lot of these have been made. Some of them were made by me, so I I do know that it gives it an understanding of how somebody who wants to leave their nine to five or someone who's a working mom, somebody who just wants to get into business, how they actually do that. But we can. What I'll do is I'll get someone in the back office team to send you the specific links which tell you how to build up your team, how to and what you need to do, how you break your day down, really. It's quite it's quite I mean, I thought it was quite comprehensive, but you know, we're always there to improve the system. If you've got any recommendations, give that to John if you're talking to John, and he will pass it back to the marketing team to get those relevant uh yeah, I think you've got a COVID I think we've had a COVID outbreak in the office, is what he's telling me. So they haven't been, been in touch with me for over a week. Ah, yes, that could in the be office. the case. That could be the case. That has been that. Uh, but, you know, I think they're back on at least two cylinders. They should be able to get you the links. But I'll, I'll have a word. I'll make a note. Mm -hmm. Just one minute. Okay. Continue uh, with uh, the topic, Lucky. It says, don't dream about yourself. I mean, you're a gentleman who is successful. And you're a gentleman who isn't really feeling too much the pinch uh, in terms of, obviously, you're probably losing money in one of your areas of business, I'm sure. But you're not feeling the pinch too much. But for the average and, and, and below average uh, person, uh, how does that ref advice reflect on them? That they shouldn't dream about the success. I mean, they should be working for it. But surely, <coughs> isn't there an element of dreaming that comes into planning, looking <coughs> foresight or forecasting, whatever you want to call it? I think you've got to have a big <coughs> dream or a aspiration of what you want to achieve. So. I mean, for example, Mark's aspiration, I think, is to be successful in property. So I think anything moving in property, any moving parts, I think he's uh, <clears throat> on it. He seems like he's utilising his time optimally and he's not really letting uh, even a minute drop by looks of things. He seems very, like, uh, modularised and systematic in terms of getting out there and finding opportunities by just literally uh, sort of... Uh, following things up on the internet. So I think, uh, and he's also quite clear about his skill set. So I think uh, having that uh, energy and that passion is really important because if you're passionate about what you're doing, you've got that you dream about what you want to achieve, the likelihood that you're more likely to get there. So I think uh, dreaming is important, but obviously dreaming without action is no good. Okay. So that's really what we're saying. We're saying it's all right dreaming about your success, but you need to really work hard to get to success. So tell us, Mark, uh, how did you actually decide? What was the key factor that made you decide you need to get self-employed and you need to go into this sector uh, of business? You know, I know you've got a few properties, but it's not naturally uh, – you can't take it for granted – that you would have gone into property or property-related business, you could think, have got into opening up your own workshop. It, well, I looked at my own workshop 10, 15 years ago. Me and a friend of mine were, gonna, were planning on setting up together and 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 be a Mercedes garage. But it, as it, as what happens, life happens, and he went through a divorce, and I went through a divorce, and you know. It, it changed our 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 outlook and our affordability to do something. So, you know, that's life, isn't it? Life life happens. But I think I think the that's major right. thing for me was, you know, I've always for the last fifteen years I've, I became an accidental landlord and did a little bit of trade in the background and I didn't rent them out properly at first. Although I've never had a an issue, but I started doing some property training and stuff like that. And you start to understand a little bit more how how it becomes a business and how to, to do it properly. So at that point, um, you know, I did that and ra raised a bit more money to, 
to try and buy another property. Um, but again, life happened again and something else. Um, we had to pay that money to, to another source. So it sort of puts you back two or three years again. So um, you know you wait for your properties to go up in value a little bit before you can take some more money out. Which again, you know, we're in that sort of area area now. Um, I've got I've got good equity in both properties. Um, so I've had probably three three bad life experiences where it it stopped me from progressing and doing what I wanted to do. One was divorce. One was um, an illness in the family where we had to settle some money from um, from some money that we borrowed. So that sort of puts you back. And then um, I've had a, a couple of 18, two years ago now, I had to evict some tenants that trashed my property. It cost me about £20,000 to refurbish it. So I've took it from a two bed terrace property to a three bed student let. And you know, the, money's, the money's much better. It's sort of, it's now... You know, two years later, I'm still sort of paying that that debt, if you like. But it, the money's the money's better, and it, it's it's recovering. So, so you have you, life experiences knock you back a little bit. And you know, as as Lucky said a minute ago, people can only cope with one one at a time. You know, if all those three had came in come in together, then you'd have probably buried your head in the sand, gone bankrupt, and never looked at property again. But you, my attitude is, you keep going, and you. you there's always another hurdle. There's always another another a puddle to jump over, if you like. Um, from the workshop point of view, I think the biggest thing for me more recently is although I've been interested in doing something myself for at least the last five years, it's just life. You know, it's children, the bills you have to pay, um, your social life, and everything. The whole the whole life experience stops you from doing it when you're in a comfortable well-paid job and then the well-paid job through the pandemic um they offered me you know because i was a manager of the office um i used to go out to sites well that stopped because of the pandemic you weren't allowed to travel um, and they wanted me to go back in and do the job for six and a half thousand pound less money a year and i exactly the same job for, for and what well, the way i look at it is i'd, I'd, I'd managed i'd managed to live on 80 percent of my wages for I don't know, eight months. So they, their, their philosophy was, well, why, don't, why, don't you, why can't you carry that on? So they wanted me to take a 19.5% pay cut, do exactly the same job, 10 hours a day. And I just said, no, I'll take, them, I'll take my redundancy and run. So it was the redundancy side of it that gave me the opportunity to pay my bills for six, eight months while I retrain and um, set myself up, which is what I've done. So it's more circumstances than 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 anything. Mm -hmm. That's put me where I am now. Okay, lucky. So tell me, uh, have you landed in the uh, many successful businesses <coughs> corporate through circumstance, or was it planning? <coughs> but before we ask you to answer that question, yes, we've got a shout out. John Smith, I think, is. Uh, uh, and D20men all watching us this morning. Good morning to everyone. Shout out. Uh, and we've got the ever charming, uh, extremely um, versatile, full of lots of knowledge, uh, Mr. Rajesh Malotra. We're going to bring him in as well. We're going to join. Today we're going to have an all men gathering. First time having you in a while. Hello, VJ. Good morning. Oh, yeah, Hello, Rajesh. Yes. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you? Great to see you. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Great to see you all again. Um, Excellent. So you got the topic for today. One is, uh, what do you think about 21 and uh, what the forecast looks like in the property sector? But the other one, which is the main question for the week, is... Don't dream about your success. And I think you're a man also who's taken the horns of your dreams and you have uh, rather taken the bull of your, of your dreams by the horns and you're no. steering it in the right direction. So you can tell as well, do you dream or do you have lots of dreams about your success still or are you working hard towards them? 
Um, I think it is a, a mixture of both. I think um, human beings are geared towards dreams, but they're also uh, goal-directed um, people. Um, I think Mark would agree with me on this, that um, everyone has goals, everyone. Um, you may not have actually written those goals down. So let's take an example. Um, if, say, the pandemic wasn't here, <coughs> I know it's here, but hypothetically, most people work in a nine to five, they get up, they go to a job, um, they can tolerate with a boss they can hardly tolerate, uh, with co-workers they can hardly tolerate to come back and pay the bills and then spend time, little time with their family, maybe go on holiday a couple of weeks a year. Um, now that's, as, as, as much as that's the reality, um, that doesn't really get you up in the morning unless you have to go to work to pay the bills. So you need something to drive you. You, know, you need something like Mark. Uh, I was watching Mark's uh, video last time, a very inspirational. He's basically taken the bull by the horns. Um, they offered him uh, a position lower, but uh, with pay, but it's twice as much responsibility. Um, and he decided, he said, no, I'm not having that. Um, I'm going to provide for my family. I'm going to take action and now look uh, where he is at. You know, he's uh, working hard and dreams. Same with Lucky, same with you, same with me. Um, I'm working towards, yes, you have to put the, the effort in. Um, you know, it's all very good uh, saying I've got this dream, but if you don't work towards it, it will never materialize. Okay, know, so then, uh, the up then, Rajesh, the question is, are we talking about dream or are we talking about objectives or goals? Lucky well, Singh, can you answer? I just will ask Lucky to answer okay. that question. Okay. Are we saying dreams or are we saying goals and objectives? Because dreams are something that I have early morning. Sometimes it end up slightly moist. Yes, that's the type of dream I'm talking about. So what is a dream, Lucky? Is it really a dream that we are asking to work towards? Or is it more of a goal? Uh, is reality more goals and target driven? Dreams are what you have in your bed at, when you're asleep. <coughs> I think if you could uh, delete the live the last two minutes, five minutes, we would. So, okay. Uh, I have to delete, delete that bit. I was take Pardon? two. Can we edit that bit? Take two. Take two, yes. Uh, take it again, yes. The type of dreams I have are a bit more romantic, possibly. Things which make me feel a bit more nice about myself. Snuggled in bed. Uh, don't have any other type of dream, but are dreams really for the bedroom, or are they more? Uh, you know, are they are they dreams? Are they objectives and targets that we try to set for ourselves? Do they come from dreams, or are dreams just for the bedroom? Aren't dreams and goals? Aren't dreams and goals pretty much the same thing? Yeah. Uh, you know, you have a... Let's see. And... Let's ask the question. You, you have a... What do you say? Or a vision is a vision a dream. That's the, that's the same thing, isn't it? So you have a vision, you have a vision of where you want to be, but you have to take steps to achieve that vision and get well, to that. I mean, okay, let's let's play that out, Mark. I had a dream. I was riding a dolphin, and the dolphin had legs. That doesn't make sense. How can I make that into a vision? Can I actually imagine I'm going to see a dolphin? It's got legs. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe over another another three hundred decades that might that might happen because that's the, that's how things evolve, isn't it? Yeah, I could be thinking about the future. What do you say, yeah. Lucky? Am I am I going to achieve my dream? I saw a dolphin with legs. You reckon I'm going to get there? I don't want to disappoint you, with yourself, but I think it, so. I would say yeah, it's going to all happen for you. Just keep it on dreaming. All happen. Excellent. Yeah. So what do you say, Rajesh? Do you think a dolphin that normally stays in the wet waters, could that really be a dream? Is it really a dream about an, a mammal that's in the wet waters of the sea? Is that a dream or is that really a vision of the future? Am I going to be some scientist that's going to do a lot of cross-genetic modification and turn dolphins into horses 
Um, well, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put anything be, uh, beyond you, uh, BJ. Um, like you said, uh, like Mark said, uh, I mean, what dreams basically are is the part of the subconscious mind that is taking all the information during the daytime. And I don't want to get too deep here, but I've studied it at a, a, a deep level. And it's, it's an, it's an, he's actually put us right because you're just sort of <laughs> skirting around dreams. I think they're all dreams about nice, fluffy things. But we've re realized that a dream is actually about the replay of our daytime. Is that right, Mala? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a replay, but obviously the subconscious mind doesn't understand. It works in uh, words, uh, pictures, it doesn't understand words. See, it's a maelstrom, a, whirl, a whirlpool. When the conscious mind is communicating with the subconscious mind, there's a really good book on this called The Midas Method. It just, What's it called? Uh, the Midas Method. The Midas Method. Method, yeah, right. it goes Isn't into like deep. that song, The Midas Touch? Yeah, the guy who wrote the book literally had the Midas Touch. He literally, um, so, uh, but going back to what I was saying is that it is a replay of your day because your subconscious mind never never shuts off. I, I don't know if you realize that you were saying about um, you're dreaming about swimming on top of a, was it on top of a dolphin with, and then went on land with legs, right? Yeah, was, in your, in your, that's in your wet. dream, it's, got legs. A, it's a reality because your belief system is shut down, right? In your I, dreams, you can believe anything because the belief system part of your brain is shut down. Um, yes. So, you know, it's a, it's a replay of the, I mean, there's um, the opposite of dreams are obviously nightmares. People have nightmares as well. And um, because the subconscious uh, mind the can't, is sometimes a bit of a nightmare. Well, you, the subconscious mind cannot, cannot differentiate between a real and imagined event. I'll give you an example. Um, and I don't digress. Imagine um, you want to eat into a lemon. Right yeah. now, you might ask me why you want to eat into lemon, but wow. the thing is, you're if I start saying the lemon it is juicy, you're gonna eventually start salivating because the subconscious mind can't, the brain can't tell the difference. That's why our nightmares seem very real. Um, and I know we digress, but the same with dreams. You know, when it you get up, you think, "Oh my god, this is a real, this is a real." You might end up in sweat. Because you thought it was, and then you think to yourself, "Wait a minute, it was just a dream." And you can also have dreams within dreams. I've had it many times. I don't know if Mark or uh, luckier. You wake up in your bedroom, and then you think, and then you wake up again. So you know, without going off off, uh, off topic. Deep. Uh, Very deep. Okay. Uh, but that, so that's dream. Mark, do you have bad? Do you have horror dreams? Do you have dreams which are like horror stories? No. I don't think I don't really think I have many dreams nowadays. <laughs> I, I think I used to as a child uh, um, have have dreams, but I can't remember. I, I can't remember the last dream I had. Yeah, that, I think I you know, are, you're you're Terminator, aren't you, Mark? I haven't got any time. To dream. I yeah, maybe. Huh? Hey, maybe that's it. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you're not <laughs> very fanciful. I think. You don't have any fantasies. Lucky Singh, do you have lots of fantasies? Are you like Mark, like the Terminator? I'll be back. I won't have time to have dreams. Or are you more uh, fluffy, um, having dreams within dreams? I don't think Lucky actually sleeps. I think what happens is he, he, he turns off and uh, one of his kids puts him into a cupboard and then... Um, on Friday night, and then and then Sunday, Sunday, Monday morning, they say, "Dad, it's time to wake up," and they put the key in his back and wind him back up. So I don't think actually Lucky sleeps. I don't think. Hey, do you, is that true? Are you more like a solar powered gentleman? Yeah. Who lives off think, the day sun, and then the the night is for you to battery down. And by I think the he's a cyber. Down, it's a cycle. The future. Are you a cycle? Are you Lucky? Are you a grid from the future? Are a you a cyber organetic uh, mechanism that repeats itself and stays ever energetic? What are you, Lucky Singh? I think I may be, actually. I think there may be, Ellen. A good point, Raj. Yeah. 
I think I think Lucky's got a he's he's a, a man of many talents. Um, I mean, he's up early, really early. Uh, he's he, on the weekends. He's doing his uh, running or he's spending time with his children. So he's uh, 24 seven. Even I think on Friday when we were talking, he was uh, on his way to work. So, but the same like Mark. Mark's probably very driven and maybe doesn't have time for dreams. Are you, know, you, Mark, are you driven? Are you like an auto guided vehicle that just has sensors on it telling it's you a not missile. to bump your vehicle? Um, I, I don't know about, um, I don't, I don't, to be fair, I don't sleep a lot. About six and a half hours is about all I need, really. Mm. But, um, yeah. I think you have to be, you have to be driven. You know, I could mm. quite easily do all of lockdown, go up at 10 o'clock in the morning. It was sunny all through the first lockdown. I could have got up at 10 o'clock in the morning, sat in the garden all day with a beer in me and from midday. Yeah, but that, that doesn't that doesn't help the situation. Doesn't, it's a long time to have a beer, isn't it, Mark? <laughs> There's never a wrong time to have a beer, is there? There's well, never a wrong time. time. I said it's a long time, not the wrong time. I said <laughs> isn't that long time? Ten o'clock in the morning, two hours have a pint of beer. Doesn't taking that a lot. Are you just trying to be very, very? That's what I'm uh, saying. If you if you have one at ten o'clock in the morning, you'll have one at 12 in the, in the afternoon, then at 2 in the afternoon, and you'll just keep going. So you'll get to a point where you never get anything done. Yeah. So you have, you have to, you know, you have to be driven. You have to decide what you want to do. Mm. And, you know, like I said, you could have quite easily, lockdown could have quite easily crippled. And it probably has crippled many people to the point where, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're going to lose their job. The, the dull rate's going to go through the roof. But if they don't, if they don't act on, on what's happening, they'll soon become just part of the system and 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 not not do anything. They've got you've got to have, you know, to have to be driven. Okay, lucky. I'm going to ask you: Are you do, do you think do you have a steering wheel stuck somewhere in one of your orifices? Are you being driven <laughs> around by some sense of purpose? Yeah, maybe. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have VJ because he's a cyborg. Cyborgs don't have steering wheels. I just want to. All right. <laughs> Lucky, do you accept that you are? Are you cyborg? You from the future? <laughs> it's the <laughs> first so time right. I've actually seen Lucky speechless. Yeah, uh, no comment. <laughs> no comment. Comment, no. Okay, let's move on to Rajesh then. Rajesh, yes. Are you driven by something? Um. I, I don't know if I'm totally driven, but there is something. I, 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 I aspire to what Mark says, right? I could easily be very get up late. And actually, I got up late today, which is surprising. But then I was watching a a really uh, bad movie last night starring Nicolas Cage. But enough about like that. Um, I, 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 I aspire to what uh, Mark says, that you've got to have something to get you up in the morning as well. Um, it's like, okay, let's take an example. Um, a lot of people, like Mark said, and probably Lucky or Groomy, are destabilized by what's happening. They're having mental health issues. You know, uh, they're uh, they're stuck at home. The children are stuck at home. Um, it's maybe causing uh, arguments as well. Um, uh -huh. Men are like saying, "Oh, I need to get out." The women are saying, "Well, I need to get out." Um, and the kids are probably saying, "We want to go out and play." Uh, and uh, you you get to the point where you think. You may be, I wouldn't say people are questioning their existence or their identity, but maybe they'll just say, well, what's the point of it all? Why, why, why should I even bother? Um, and I'm going to answer that question. Uh, the reason that you should bother is that the one thing that you, that you cannot replace is time. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, you can't. Rewind back time. You can't forward time. Everyone has the same amount of hours in the day. And you can't put time in a box and say, at the end of my life, I can take it out. So time. Now, I know we've all got a lot of time. And it may feel like, because when we're busy, you know, uh, there's a saying that um, I think work fills the vacuum of time or something. Is, is that right? So when you're not working, or not, you're not doing something. It, it does seem longer. But you, like Mark. I could very easily um, 
watch uh, Freeview or Netflix all day. Um, and I'd be happy to do that. But that, is, that isn't going to get me to where I want to go, you know. Uh, if a year well, down the line, if say, so the, say yeah, but I, I I understand what you're saying, but we've been put on this earth for a reason, right? I mean, we, I mean there's what seven seven point eight billion people on the planet, right? Okay, everyone is unique. Like we had this conversation before. Everyone is unique, right? And everyone uh, has, you know, their own dreams, goals, and aspirations. Um, and for viewers that are watching this, I would say find something to look forward to during the week. It could be spending time with your kids, your partner, uh, maybe watching a movie. But because the mind itself, right, if you don't use it, right, it's like a muscle. If you don't use it, it's going to what's called atrophy, right? Because we are, we are, we are goal directed. Okay, well, say that again, please, for, for the viewers. Uh, the, huh? the muscle, the mind is like a muscle. Mind, don't mind is, if you don't use it, right, if you don't use it, um, it will atrophy or it will, you know. Um, let, let, let's take mobile phones, for instance. Right? I, I know we're digressing a bit, but don't you find that when you start using the mobile phones, you're um, sort of abdicating your brain power to the mobile phone? And I've done it as well. Apps. They're very, they're very, uh, they're very uh, addictive because of the dopamine hit. But the, the the thing is, we only use one percent of our brain. Einstein was a genius; he used five percent, and he was considered a genius. Obviously, Lucky's um, uses about fifty percent, but you know we won't go there. He's on a different level. And um, he's a cybernetic organ. Talking yeah. to cybernetic organs, we have yeah, I, I, Rani, another I, cybernetic organ. I'm sure he's Mark would agree with me. He's he he's 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 looking after his family. He's doing various things, but it's also he's going. He's got a goal in mind, where he wants to go. He's not doing it for the sake of doing it. And I think if you, a simple thing is like, if you're feeling down a little bit despondent, have something to look up, look forward to, put it in a diary, put it in a journal, do that, because what it will do is that your brain will kick start. Right, you have neurons in your brain and synapses. I don't want to go into all the medical, psychological stuff, but um, I find uh, another thing you could do is like if you want to um, increase your brain power, is do puzzles and word searches and that because the, you, you have to. It's rather like if you want to get fit, right? You don't go to the gym once. Um, you have to keep going. It's, you have to do consistently, and I know. I'm sometimes guilty of this. Sometimes I'm like super active. I'm like, I'd say a, about a quarter of Lucky and about half a Mark mixed in with a, a dash of VJ for me, a good measure. And then other times the duvet just feels too heavy. You know, it just feels so heavy. It just feels, oh, no, just, just another 10 minutes, please. I like but, that. I like the very, uh, the very. It's a habit. It's a habit. Yeah. Lucky are you? Do you have an organ that you do not yeah. use often? What do you mean, like a trumpet or a trombone? Or? Yeah, could be one of those. That's an instrument, it's not an organ. We're talking about an organ. Yes, Lucky. Do you use an organ? It is a neat. Are you having to do uh, research in, uh, I think it was in Cambridge? And I did actually use the organ there. Yeah. Cambridge University. Yeah, you must have frightened lots of old people off using an <laughs> organ there. I won't be doing that. Not in public. But anyway, uh, Mark, what about you? Have you got an organ you don't normally use? Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that, to be quite honest. <laughs> to keep you company yeah <laughs> sorry you don't need to go to the pub again this is meant to be like a pub pub yeah. pub, band. <laughs> pub quiz isn't it yeah <laughs> you get the name of your own... i do i do enjoy the pub but i do enjoy the social aspect of meeting um my my good friends there That's yeah good. i miss that as well i miss that yeah. as well oh, i really please, do miss that you spell your surname that's when, at the end of the day, when no one can even recognise each other. Can you spell your surname? 
Can you tell me how to spell your surname, sir? Okay. <coughs> Rajesh, last yes. few words of today, sir. Tell me. Dreams, targets, ambitions, objectives. Which, <coughs> one do we on? which one do we go to first? Do we wait for the dream to pop up first? Do I wait for my dream? Or do I actually set goals and targets and I dream about them in the night? Quick 30 I, seconds. Play around I, would, I would say the second one. Because you can have dreams. But if you don't have... dreams, are basic, Goals are basically dreams with deadlines with them right that's what they are so a lot of people have their goals in their head yeah okay. they're a deadline so if you if you want to if you want to um realize your dreams yeah there's a lot of stuff that you can do and it, and, and, and the most important thing is it's not always and uh, you achieve the dream is what you become that person to achieve that dream so uh, let, let's take a, a a quick example i know we haven't got much time um, and we can talk about this in the next session. Um, I don't know. Maybe you've been made redundant and you start a business and you want to replace your income. Right. So your income could be, I don't know, let's just say it's two thousand pounds a month. Uh, male stripper. Right. That's what let's put male stripper down. Whatever floats your boat, uh, VJ. I don't really know where you get to up to in your personal life. But that's, that's that's totally up to you. Um okay. yeah, but, so VJ sounds a very saucy mood this morning. Yeah, well, yeah. it's like it, it's, I think it's because, it, I, I think it's because we, we've had Valentine's, but yeah, um, you, 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 yeah, so, <laughs> so you want to start your own kissogram service, yeah, um, kissogram, you, right. yeah, but you, you have to have a goal to, to achieve that income, right? Because if you just say, Oh, I want to earn a lot of money, the subconscious mind doesn't understand that it's I want to lose weight, yes. I want to be a millionaire. The subconscious mind. Well, good luck with you. Good luck with that. Wake me up when you when you become a millionaire. It doesn't understand those concepts. This is why um, when you're trying to. Okay, before we go, um, imagine that you want to lose weight, right? Now this has happened to me, right? You say I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to eat properly, exercise. You watch what happens. You will turn on the TV and all these cakes and pastries and you'll get them through the the letterbox right will come through and you're like wait a minute never come through before and you're like this is just is this coincidence or you want to save money and suddenly you get all these credit card uh, applications coming through because the subconscious mind is testing you trust me it's happened to me it's so, happened to me so many times it's not even a coincidence but you have to okay. stay focused okay. you have Let's to stay focused that. Let's go across to Lucky then. Okay, Lucky, uh, you want to uh, achieve your goals, uh, which and goals are dreams to take over dreams. the world. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that's why you can do the you can do the evil laugh as well, with Rajesh. So, Lucky Singh, what do you say? Last thirty seconds, please. And what's the question? I'm a bit lost with all the different bits I think going should, on. I think you should ask Mark as well, BJ, just before we go. That is, the, is the dream a goal with a target? That's what Rajesh says. Is that the case? Do you set your dreams in target forms with some kind? I would probably write down um, what's your vision, what you want to achieve. Which is a bit like a dream. What your a dream is more like uh, what you want to manifest. I would use mm -hmm. the word manifest rather than dream. Yeah. And whatever you want to manifest, then you've got action with. I think. I think. Uh, that's you've it. got to be so, real. Yeah. Sorry, lucky. Sorry, lucky. Uh, yeah. Go on, in there, but I've done a few few property courses, and they always ask you what you want to achieve, <laughs> and mm. ninety percent of people will say, "I want to be a millionaire." Yeah. Right now. Yeah, we all want to be a millionaire. There's no two ways about it. But it's an it's it's an unachievable goal in itself because you set that target, and as Rajesh says, it's just you, 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 you wait me when I get there, right? So the property <laughs> courses I do, they say to me, "What yeah. do you want to achieve?" And I I say, "I want to replace my income two and a half thousand pound, two and a half pound yeah. thousand pound a month." So take your small goal. And work backwards from that. And how am I going to get? How, 
I'm, I'm now, my goal is to achieve £2,000 a month, if you like, to mm. round figures. So I've got to work from back from that goal to achieve how many EPCs I need to do a month, how many photography jobs I need to do a month, how many houses mm. I need to bring to auction a month. And I can set my stall out and let down all my little, what what what, 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 what to call it, um, points okay. of income. Okay. And then when, you've got that goal, when you've got to that goal, then you mm. can look how to achieve two and a half yeah. thousand pounds a month. Oh, yeah. really? that's that's course of five years, I might right. get to be a millionaire. That's, you know, that is, that's right. exactly right. what I was saying. Exactly yeah. what I'm saying. It's achievable uh, goal. With that there, I'm going to have to say goodbye, Mark. Thank <laughs> you so much. Rajesh, thank you so much. Lucky thing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, having me, Mark. Mark. Great. Lucky. Yeah, thank you, Jay. You. Yeah, Excellent conversation. We had lots, lots of love hearts. I think about four or five. Love art for the blokes, so obviously. Well, it's for you, VJ. Obviously, you know. I mean, I'm. <laughs> you know, you're not just a pretty face, are you? Let's be honest. Thanks a lot. Right. See you all guys tomorrow, eight a.m., nine a.m. tomorrow morning. Lucky Singh and the alternative business and property communities uh, solution uh, community. Sorry, with Lucky Singh, the business and property fixer. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for your time, guys.